What's up YouTube, I am back once again with yet another video. In today's video I'll be doing a tutorial on how to make a 36 volt, roughly 10 amp hours or so, um, lithium battery pack. So um, this is built up of 18650 cells from old laptop batteries and drill batteries. So um, yeah I got um, all these batteries for free from um, my uh, like local battery distributor kind of like Essentially what they do is take in old, uh, you know, cells and uh, recycle them. They also sell new cells as well, but um, I mainly, uh, you know, got the old cells and uh, went through them, tested the capacity and uh, built up this pack. So um, uh, these cells down here are roughly 2 amp hours each. Um, these are like 1.6, 1.3, uh, roughly 1.5, 1.6, uh, like 1.2 amp hours. Um, this one here is, you know, roughly 1.2 as well, and here is like 8 and 100, so it's definitely an upgrade from my uh, previous battery packs of lead acid batteries. And um, what you'll need to build these is uh, some cell holders. You can get these individually, you can get them in pairs of two, or you can get them in big clusters like I got them in. So uh, this just uh, makes it a lot easier to um, build big battery packs. Um, this uses four on one side, four on that side, so I only had to buy eight, have a few extra for um, some other battery packs. And they also purchased some two amp Pico fuses. They don't have a high enough amperage, like two amps with eight parallel would not be enough to support my max amp drawer of like 22 amps. Um, at max it would probably do um, 16 amps, so, so the maxes can do a 16 amps if I use these um, fuses. But um, I was thinking about doing two on each cell. So I could have a max of 4 amps, but then if one cell blew, um, you wouldn't be able to test the um, continuity because they're still connecting, because maybe one blew, or maybe if both blew, that's probably the only way you could um, see if uh, they've blown. So that um, idea would probably not work at all. So I'm, I'm thinking about just cutting the um, the metal leads off it and using that to um, solder to um, the bus bar that I'm going to put along here. Um, I'm going to be using um, just normal uh, power supply wire. You can use solid core wire to go along there. And um, so yeah, that's basically um, pretty much it for this basic overview. I will be doing um, a build of that. So um, yeah, let's just uh, get into it. So I'd just like to quickly add what I'm going to be using for the electricals. I'm going to be using... Um, so I'm going to be using a 10S BMS. Um, this is rated for a max of like... 30 amps I think it is, um, so you've obviously got the balance cords, uh, a few leads coming off, I have used this before um, for a bit of a test to see if it works, and it did, um, just, you know, 16 gauge uh, computer power supply wire, I know it's not the best um, for this application, because um, obviously I'm going to have to strip the ends off um, a certain length, um, twist it, and then, you know, straighten it out and all that kind of stuff and put solder on it, but, um, uh, it should work. I mean, yeah, solid core wire would be the best. Um, also got some captain tape, I think it is, or something like that. Uh, you know, high heat tape, basically. And uh, yeah, so let's just um, get onto it and uh, start soldering it all up. So now I have um, my uh, fuse wires cut up. And uh, obviously I've just um, taken it off the old fuses. Um, I shortened them down a little bit so that I can use them for something else. But um, I've got a few more packs of those, so I will be uh, cutting a few more of these out. So they are kind of thin, but I'm hoping they'll take more than um, two amps that they are rated at. Um, maybe three. Uh, three amps would probably be enough. Um, originally I probably should have got our three amp Pico fuses, but um, we make mistakes and uh, you know have to learn from them. So also I've got um, this um, piece here. My uh, little bar will go across here, like so, on all of the negative um, side so I'll go on here, 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 here and there and I'll also go on the bottom as well so um, once those are all soldered up um, I'll be back. So I just uh, finished soldering um, these uh, bus bars on you can call them I guess. Um, so yeah as you can see they're all there and also if you spin it around I've um, got them here as well and now basically I'm just gonna solder the fuses on I don't know if you can see that, but basically just solder across from the negative to positive. So um, it'll connect all these cells in onto the uh, the main bar, and I'll also um, connect them in series as well. So um, 
the energy will just pass through all the cells. And uh, yeah, so um, I'm probably going to be a while, you know, soldering all these fuses up. So uh, yeah, um, I'll be back when um, that happens. I'm back again, and as you can see, I have partially mounted the fuses onto the bus bars. So um, as you can see, um, I haven't fully mounted it, I've only mounted it on the positive side. But um, I will be obviously continuing on the fuses. And uh, yeah, so I'll just uh, fix that up and, and uh, show you guys. So I finally got um, all the fuses done. They're all um, soldered up nice and strong. And uh, there's no fuses on um, the end um, the end cells. There's no fuses. But uh, you could almost say that there are fuses if you turn it around. You still have um, fuses on the back. So maybe you can see there's fuses on the back. And they um, correspond to um, these ones here, which don't have a fuse. So you could kind of think they actually still do have fuses on them. But uh, anyways, um, I've got the BMS here, a lot of wires coming out. I need to connect, I need to connect uh, negative, uh, positive, the red one, the big thick one. And then uh, the balance leads and all that. And uh, I pretty much should be done. So um, I'll do that and uh, get back. So now the battery pack is basically finished. Um, as you can see, I've got it on my uh, Razer Pocket Mod uh, electric bike. And um, it's very roughly just mounted. I've just uh, put a blanket under it and just uh, put it on the back rest thing. But um, anyway, um, this is where the two charger ports plug into. So you've got the BMS hooked up, you know, all the balance leads connecting. You've got the, the main negative and... Uh, and uh, positive as well connected up underneath and uh, yeah so the fuses are looking good um, none of them have popped yet so um, I have ran this and uh, it runs really good accelerates good the voltage doesn't drop as much as what I used to have on my lead acid batteries but um, yeah I've got a multimeter hooked up to see how much amps goes into this battery so um, here's a charger and um, I plug it into this port here so just um, plug that up and as you can see that will go red and we have 1.17 amps going into the battery now highest battery voltage on uh, one pair one set of cells is um i think it's 4.1 so um there is a little bit to go and um it should balance out as it charges as well so um i'm going to leave that charge i'm probably just to uh, go to watch it and all that just to make sure it's all safe but um yeah if you guys are going to build a battery pack um I highly encourage you guys because it's quite rewarding and um, it just uh, gets you, it basically just um, gets you into like electric vehicles and all that kind of stuff. So um, yeah, obviously this is a rough setup. You guys can probably do a lot better than what I've done, but this is just, you know, be a brief like overview of, you know, how I've done it and, um, you know, the mistakes I've made and next time hopefully the improvements I will be doing to this um, like setup. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my video on the DIY um, 18650 lithium battery pack. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed and uh, thanks for watching.